Okay, so I am making a sloth soap today and <laughs> I know that goes very yellow and it freaks me out but it's supposed to just discolor to cream and I've got white in there so hopefully not even that. Um, I'm using warm apple and peaches from Midwest Fragrance which I really like. It's fruity but it makes me think of the holidays. Um, so the plan is to pour a predominantly white base. I've got a little bit of blue which I'm going to drop swirl and then hanger swirl in. And then I have, if I can find him, this cute little sloth embed. I have longer pieces. This is just a little piece um, that I'm going to embed and I have a stamp to stamp its face on. I'm going to put some of these on top. And the goal is basically <laughs> to put the sloth up top and have and then stamp it, let it snow. So this was just an end piece of another batch I was practicing on to make sure it would all fit. And it seems to, which is, that's good. Basically I need to get the embed in the right place. And if I get it in the right place and it doesn't move, I should be golden. Um, so that means basically having all the soap in and then putting the embed in. And it's just on top, so generally when I'm just putting something on top, I don't have to push it all the way down to the bottom or center it. I do okay. So... I am... going to isn't supposed to set up but it's starting to probably because I talked a bit um, so let me just drop that in and lots of hanger swirl to kind of really I just want it wispy blue I don't want it to be fully blue so I'm hoping that this will just kind of mix it in and give it a little bit of wispiness. And now I need to make sure I put the sloth in the right way. That's critical. Um, the scarf has to be on the outside. Otherwise the stamp will have issues fitting correctly. Okay, so that's the sloth. If I put it in here, that would be the outside of the bar. Actually, no, I want it to go this way. Okay, outside going in just on the top. I should probably move this so I don't dump it into the mold on accident. Okay, that one's in place. And it's outside. I'm just swinging this around so I can have the markers on this side. Definitely getting thick. Okay. Oh, that was not a drizzle. That was supposed to be a drizzle. Um, it's okay. I'm just gonna do a little bit of swirl and then I will place all these little individual guys on the top of the bar. So yeah, I'm gonna just kind of speed that up now because one, it will take me a little bit, and two, I don't think you want to watch that in real time. Anyways, yeah, so I'm really hoping that the soap turns out as cute as I envision it. Um, I think I got my sloth in the right spot. That was kind of 
the biggest deal I needed to make sure that happened. So sit back and enjoy the rest of this video. <laughs> already see something I'm frustrated with. This is touching the side wall. I did not want that, but that's okay. Let's cut it and see. I'm sure it still will be cute. Just annoyed. Let's see what I have. So this is the one it went over the most. There's a couple bars. Not awful. This is better. This is what it was supposed to be. Maybe just a tad over. And then I'm gonna stamp the let it snow. So see, I wanted it just a little bit over. You know, I'm being picky. It'll still be cute. I'll stamp that. I'll also stamp the face on <laughs> I'm not looking forward to doing 32 bars of stamping that face. It's cute, but it is also annoying to do. Maybe not annoying, it's tedious. The wispy blue is interesting. Not 100% what I was expecting. I mean, it's fine. I like it. It's just, I thought with the amount I swirled it that it would be even more wispy. I think it'll be fine once I stamp it. Oh, and the top with the cute little guy. So, yeah. <laughs> Next part, stamping and infilling. It's going to take longer than making the, the actual soap did. But I think when it's all said and done, it will be a really cute soap. The tiny face stamp, which I have to go through and put on all of these bars. And then this stamp, and then infilling it. Let the fun begin. <laughs>
So I've just mixed some mica in rubbing alcohol and I'm going to infill all the stamps now. Um, I did a video on this last year, last winter, so about a year ago, on different ways that you can do infills. Um, you can infill with mica, just like coating the stamp in mica, which wasn't going to give me the effect I wanted here. You can infill with soap dough and then kind of plain it, which is a lot of work. I mean, it's probably, there. all the methods are have different levels of work. Um, that's just not one that I ever get the results I really want. So, I don't do it often. I will get better as I go on. The first couple ones are always a little... I over spill like the rubbing alcohol will dry and you can wipe it off um, you can also I have a wet cloth and I'll wipe some of it off now and then I'll come back So basically, I'm going to go through and fill in all of these. Happy watching.